Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to some gameplay. Now, probably for the hardcore Star Citizen guys who are probably playing all the time, they might not find this particularly interesting. But the purpose of this video today is just a bit of chilled out gameplay, really. And at the same time, what I've done, we're going to do a cargo run, and I've loaded up the Starfarer with all... A nice array of goodies, let's just say. I've picked all the different types of boxes. Now, I remember when they introduced the cargo mechanic. I was so impressed with these boxes. They look so cool. They, they could have easily made some like little naff box or something with a little sticky label on it. Oh no. These boxes are... Each one of them look just absolutely incredible. Look. Now, the purpose of this cargo run today is not necessarily about making money. I've literally just picked every box type so we can have a look at the boxes. Now, I do own the Starfarer. Not the ideal cargo run at the moment. It's the Caterpillar because it can carry more. Second place, the Starfarer. If we could use the fuel, obviously, it'd be a different story because you can see these huge tanks on the back there. But unfortunately, we can't as yet. So, it's an effective cargo runner for now. For me, anyway, because I don't have the Caterpillar. And it does actually say on each one of the boxes as well, look, what it is. Go around here as well. Got a bit carried away on this. A little bit cheaper, so I went a bit berserk. These ones here as well. Medical supplies. See around here. Biohazard material, some waste there. Now this will fill up to the ceiling, I'll just run out of money. So these two side sections, these are full, that side's full, this one's not. Like I said, spent all my money on this. Let's just hope it don't crash. So Levski, here we come. Now Levski can be a little bit challenging sometimes to go to. My best advice would be a null pad two and three. So if you go for one and four, you'd normally okay. I say normally. Saying that, I haven't got stuck in the um, hangar for quite some time. Maybe they fixed it now. I mean, I've been going back and forth in the last week, let's just say many times. And I've noticed that the lift issue seems to be fixed. Let me know in the comments if you've got stuck at the uh, lift at Lesky in 3.2. So I'm not expecting any trouble on the way. Could be some interdiction on the way, but we'll have to wait and see, eh? Launch sequence complete. Landing gear up. I did see some shooting a minute ago, so uh, what we're going to do is move away really slowly. Don't want to move outside of the uh, armistice zone so people start shooting me. Zoom right out. Not quite far. Says destination, nice, nice and easy. Star map's a bit better now, isn't it? You can see most of the places. Still can be a bit difficult when you double click on the location and you do this and you zoom in, trying to pick individual areas. No way as bad as it used to be though. Oh, the glass is uh, been ironed out a little bit as well. So there's only one blue dot there, so I'm guessing that's it. Now this thing, undoubtedly it is slow. It's not a fast mover by any means. But the whole point of uh, the staff error is really... You are a bit of a snail. Although you do have good foot forward guns, you're not going to be taking anything. Out in some twisty dogfight. But you definitely don't want to uh, face on with a uh, Doom Turtle, because if you're in front with these guns, you're a goner. Looking like possible, yes, in tradition. Can't see any trouble yet. Pick up some speed. No doubt there'll be some old pirates here.
And one thing is a little bit annoying is when you come out, you notice that you lose the the location, which is a little bit annoying. Probably just want to make sure before I uh, blow myself up. It's going to be fine. A couple of seconds, we start pointing down. Now that was a very strange interdiction there, wasn't it? Something they probably need to change, don't they? Make it so if you are interdicted, you don't have to go back into the map again. Particularly if you've got to get into a fight, you don't want to, you don't want to get interdicted and then all of a sudden have to open up the blooming star map, do you? While someone's shooting you. It's the last thing you blooming want. Where we go. Quantum travel engaged. I've always thought, you remember that voice? She says quantum. Quantum she doesn't say quantum travel, does she? I don't know if she's got a bit of a lisp or something. I've noticed that in the uh, Van Dool ships as well. It's hilarious when you get in one of them ones. Smooth ride so far. Quantum travel complete. Fantastic. Stop moving forward a bit. No, not where I'm going. Go on, let it be there. Fantastic. Oh, it's even going to let me jump at that range. Might just get a little bit, of, move forward a little bit. Quantum travel engaged. God, this is going to be a very, very short flight. I love these short markers now. You couldn't do this before. You know, a 75 or even at 110, you had to fly it. It was like, oh my god. Quantum travel complete. Although we didn't move far, that probably saved us a couple of minutes, didn't it? Something else I uh, found out, I didn't realise actually, was, um, you know, this scanner. Obviously you hold it down, it does this, you know, scan thing, right? If you aim it on a ship, and then hold the aiming reticle on the ship, it gives you all the ship information. Didn't actually realise that. The problem is with that, it's quite hard to put it on the ship if the ship's flying about. Well, what I mean is, good luck trying to do that with M50. Uh, particularly with this, because you can't move fast enough to keep the target on, you know, you see what I'm getting at. Check out B. Going to be a bit of a slow ride in this one. I think Star Citizen have got a good balance between time to mission. What does help is the ability to jump to different locations around a planet rather than flying around. I think that brought the mission time down by like eight minutes, nine minutes. It's quite a lot when you think about it. This thing is not good at stopping either. I've crashed a couple of times in this, just getting it wrong. Probably need to start stopping about 4,000 just to make sure you don't uh, roll into something. Levski's probably one of the hardest places to do a cargo run. Purely on the basis of risk factor. <laughs> Lots can go wrong going to Levski. God, it looks like there's a few people here as well. They're probably taking off out of the pad. So I'm going to start decelerating now. Which in fact... Landing gear down. Caution. Uh oh. Caution. Well, that was uh, very, very lucky there on that landing, undoubtedly. And did I say earlier that the uh, staff error is very, very slow at stopping? Okay, we're just coming down for landing now. Quite surprised it didn't take any damage to the ship, to be fair. I think I... Uh, Clipped the landing legs, didn't I, as I was landing? Landing complete. 
That would have been say. terrible. I literally have a hundred thousand credits in the cargo hold. That's all my PTU money. So if that would have gone wrong, yeah, that would have been good. Let's go and find out how much this is worth. Like I said at the start, this is not really about making cash. It's just about having a bit of fun, doing a cargo run, and also showing off some of them boxes as well. I am expecting to make all my money back. Probably will make some as well. There may be some items I can't sell here. That's the only downside. Because I did pick all the types of cargo. Not the end of the world. I can always go and drop that off once I've uh, completed the video, if there is anything. Let's see how much money we make. Hopefully it's a good profit. This is the good thing about the PTU as well. You can try out all this sort of different stuff as well without affecting your main account. Saying that, would have been bad though if I did lose my money. I would have ended up having to wait either for a reset or to just go and do some solo missions. In fact, I'll probably just pay the PU then. So yeah, got my money back. Good news. And I've got something there to sell as well. 62 units as well. So I can go and sell that somewhere else. So... Not going to make a massive amount, undoubtedly. A few thousand, maybe. Nice, simple journey on the way here. No major issues other than my dodgy landing. But saying that, it all ended up well in the end. If you're looking to join a Star Citizen Org, check out the link in the description below. That's it from me. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.